What's up guys, an average recon here, and in this video I'm going to show you the finished car body. I finally finished it after about, I'd say, 20 hours. It is done. It's completely done. Now I had to, because of prop limit, uh, I had to make one, like, change. One thing, I had to do something I didn't want to do. And that's, uh... I, I had to make it so there is no inside. You can't go inside the car. The door still opens, but it's really ugly. So this is it. It looks really awesome. Oh, it, tur it turned out very, very well. Unfortunately, I can't make it, uh, like, shiny. The prims, they, they aren't shiny. There's no, like, shiny, shininess. I, I'm going to say luster. There's no luster quality. Uh, the inside, the back of those little, like, I, I can't even describe them, but the two, like, uh, fin type things, those were very hard to make. Right, so, yeah, this is it. The uh, windshield, the windows were also pretty tough. The, the front one, only the front windshield. Now, the deal with the door. This was the original door. This is how I made both doors with the uh, plan, with the intention of making the inside like viewable, let's say, presentable. But look how many pr uh, props it takes up. Look how much space it takes up in the prop bar. It's insane how much that door, how many props that door that door used. So I I remade the door. Uh, if I can press, if I can rotate it, and I fail again. So I remade the door to look like this. Now, this is, like, I don't care about the inside. It's all about the outside now. Uh, as you can see, I still kept the seats and stuff and the steering wheel, but no one's ever going to see it, except in this video. So that's kind of depressing. But, whatever. I didn't spend that long on the interior, so it's not that much of a waste. But... Yeah, that's the car. It turned out really well. Now all I have to do is, in my opinion, the fun part. This was the not fun part. The unfun uh, part. Uh, what's next, though, is the coding. So now I just code. It's, it's going to be fun. I'm thinking of making, like, a tire trail when you're drifting. And I'm, I'm going to try to put drifting in. These were the parts I used. I did not use... Uh, not including the wheel and the steering wheel. I did not use any other parts except those. But I was, as I was saying, for the coating, I'm going to try to make it be able to drift. That would be nice. Uh, make the turning gradual. Not like either you're turning or you're going straight. I want to make it like you can turn a little or a little more or a lot. It's hard to explain. But realistic. I'm going to try to make the turning realistic. Uh, with a trail when you're drifting, that would be cool. Like, marks on the ground. That, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, what else am I going to code? Uh, maybe a nice camera sweep in the very beginning. Like, so it gets a 360 of the car. And, oh, oh, one more thing. It gradually increases in speed. Actually, that that's already built into the game, but what isn't is the sound of the engine. If I can get the engine sound to, like, rev up, that would be sweet. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, now you know what's in store. And the wait's finally over. Here is the body. The, the completed car body. The realistic car. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later.